Oh, Phil. I like these. Mm -hmm. These are cute. Big, chunky glasses. Let's try the other ones. One black pair and one tortoise shell. Ow, ow. These are cute too. They're basically, I mean, they're the same glasses. They're just different, different colors. colors. But these are really cute. I like these. Win for Amazon. They're only 12 bucks for two pair. Okay, gotta go to Target. Driver, then welcome back. I'm going to California tomorrow. Our flight leaves at 6 a.m. So I have to be out of the house by probably like 4.30, 4.40. And um, I'm like not prepared. I've been having a lot of anxiety about this. I don't know why. I could not sleep last night. I was like heart palpitations. It was bad. But anyway, I am uh, just finished washing some laundry. And now I have to finished packing I haven't literally packed anything I have so much homework I'm just <laughs> it's just one of those I mean look at my head it's just one of those days and it's raining and it's gonna be raining all week I pray it's not uh, raining in California because I'm leaving here to go get some Sun look at how gloomy and doomy it is I was there But anyways, I'm starving. Um, I need to make something to eat or buy something. Cause your girl's hungry. Yeah, pick up the camera in a bit. Leading whether I wanna get up out of bed, stop doing my essay. It is due tomorrow, but I'm wanting something sweet. I have bought some red velvet cake mix. I have some frosting. Should we make some jumbo red velvet cupcakes? And I'm watching Tommy Turner, <laughs> Fairly Odd Parents. Um, I do have these, but I'm wanting like a cake. And these, please go get them. Please go get them. If you watched my Costco, Trader Joe's haul, these are from Costco. Bomb.com. But I'm needing something with a little more substance. Um, I'm thinking it's the move. I'm thinking it's the move to go get my butt up and go make some red velvet cupcakes. Let's go. Okay, so the red velvet cake mix that I have is this one from Betty Crocker. And I think I have Betty Crocker cream cheese frosting as well. Let's go see. Cream cheese I have is Pillsbury, but that's fine. What are the ingredients on this? One and a quarter cups water, half cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs, and we have all those ingredients. And we're using a jumbo muffin pan. My bad. Okay. Cake mix thing, even though it's non stick. I'm so excited for these. I haven't posted a vlog in a long time, so I'm excited to get some content out. Get back on my YouTube game. For sure. One. Make sure I'm reading that correctly. Yep. And here's our quarter cup measure. I don't 
quarter cups of water. These things from Costco come in handy because I don't usually, I usually use olive oil, but for things like this, I'm glad to have it. Because I don't want an olive oil cupcake. This is half a cup, right? Yep. Get all that oil out, and then we need three eggs. This is a lot of um, eggs for this. Let's get those bacon. Okay, so let's make my famous, or I guess my mom's famous buffalo chicken dip. That's so good. It doesn't use sour cream though. So. I have some shredded breast meat from, our, uh, from a Costco. Just the lighting? Yeah, the lighting. <laughs> the shadow of my lashes. Uh, some white meat from a Costco rotisserie. Mayo and cream cheese. And obviously buffalo sauce. So I've got half a block I think in here. And I'm gonna put this little bit of cream cheese in this bowl and microwave it. So it can be easier to incorporate. Okay, sorry I got interrupted, but um, it's already basically done. I used half a block of cream cheese, about a cup of mayo, quarter cup of buffalo sauce. I added some minced garlic, pinch of sugar, um, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of ranch seasoning, the ranch seasoning from Trader Joe's. Let me find it here. So I just do a little bit of this. I haven't put it on yet. So sprinkle, sprinkle. Can you see? About that much. And then taste it. I added my chicken. And this is just a fun size amount. It's not a full thing. And I just put it in my mini crock pot on low because everything in here is cooked we're just warming it up the chicken is cooked um, you're just letting the cheese melt let's give it a taste I like to grab a little piece of chicken see how it tastes it's so good <laughs> You guys are gonna love that recipe. Yummy! And I like to eat it on tortilla chips or I make um, sandwiches with it with a little bit of cheese. That and um, Panera bread, the tomato basil loaf. Mm -hmm. Talk about good, talk about comfort. It's delicious. But please do not forget to put the pinch of sugar. It really balances out all of the saltiness. And yeah, that's it. So easy. And our cupcakes are not even close to being done. Probably had about 15, 20 more minutes on those. I'm gonna take out the mini muffins. Those obviously aren't taking as long to cook as the jumbo. 
and those are definitely done. Yummy! Then we're gonna wait till they cool to frost them. Let's turn these. We're making. My mom got me the Stanley for Christmas. I love it. And I got this cute little straw cover. It's Patrick Star. <laughs> so cute. But yeah, I love my Stanley. The hype is real. Go get one. <laughs>